Hello viewers, and today I wanted to try and make the Modern Warfare AUG into an assault rifle. As you know, the AUG is an SMG as standard as it is found in the SMG slot of the weapon selection and gunsmith. But there are definitely some attachments on this weapon that will massively increase the mid to long range effectiveness of this weapon. And that is exactly what I'm doing in this video. If you are a fan of the Modern Warfare Org, I have plenty of Org loadouts over the last six months or so. And so you should be seeing some cards in the corner of your screen throughout this introduction for other Org builds that you might be interested in. But before I break down these attachments and show you some awesome gameplay that I've got with this weapon, it would be amazing if you could subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video so I know that you enjoy this type of content. And let me know down in the comments other weapons that you would like to see throughout the course of Cold War Season 3 Warzone. And so, as I mentioned, for this build of the AUG, I wanted the medium and long range effectiveness of this weapon to be maximised with this combination of attachments. And so, starting off in the muzzle attachment slot, I am using the monolithic suppressor for a 10% boost to damage range and a 15% boost to bullet velocity, as well as that all important sound suppression. For the barrel, it may be very easy to think that the 622mm long barrel is certainly the barrel to go for, especially if you're doing what I'm doing and making the AUG into an assault rifle or an assault rifle-esque gun as much as possible. But the 622mm long barrel adds extreme weight to the weapon and as we are adding quite a lot of heavy attachments as it is to the weapon, we don't really want to be adding any unnecessary weight in the form of this longer barrel. And so the 407mm extended barrel is actually just a lighter version of the 622mm long barrel. It actually has all of the same boosts and it's just a couple of percent lower on each of the highlighted pros, the damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control. I can tell you that the range boost for this barrel that I'm using is 31%, which I would say is definitely more than enough. What's more, vertical recoil is reduced by 31% still with this barrel and it's only 34 for the long barrel. So you can see how that trade-off isn't necessarily beneficial overall for the weapon. And bullet velocity still has an increase of 16%, which can really help combining it together with the bullet velocity increase from the monolithic suppressor. And that is why I would go for this 407 millimeter extended barrel. For the underbarrel, I was actually testing out the operator foregrip as it doesn't have as many downsides to this range of foregrip as you can see here. But it turns out that the aim down sight speed increase on the operator foregrip is almost double that of what you get from the ranger foregrip. And that obviously, as you know, the Merc, Ranger and Operator foregrip all have the same decrease to vertical recoil at 17%. And so I'm using the Ranger foregrip for that 17% reduction to vertical recoil, as well as a boost to aiming stability, as I am going to be going for slightly longer shots with this weapon. And it is extremely viable to tap fire at some enemies. Moving on to the optic, I wanted a nice mid-range scope and as this is an SMG, there is no option for a sniper scope or anything like that, not that you would want that on this weapon anyway, but I have gone for the VLK 3x optic. It claims to be a 3x optic, but according to True Game Data, it is more realistically a 2x scope, which is still more than enough and what's more it only adds 16 milliseconds to the aim down sight time and it has some hidden stats to improve that vertical and horizontal recoil it reduces horizontal recoil by 11 percent and tightens up that left and right bounce with a 20 percent improvement to horizontal bounce and for the final attachment, this is almost the attachment that truly makes it in to the assault rifle-esque version of the AUG. And that is the 556 
NATO 60 round drum mag. It does add 45 milliseconds to the M down sight time and your movement speed does take a bit of a hit at 6% but the bullet velocity is increased by 19% and it more than doubles the mag size of the weapon. Whilst we do take a little bit of a hit to the fire rate at 10%, realistically that just helps us with the recoil control because there are less bullets making the end of the barrel bounce when you're full auto firing. And so this drum mag is an awesome addition to any org loadout. But let me know down in the comments if you do give this weapon a go. I captured this gameplay with two random players in Resurgence Trios and I'm pretty much going to leave it almost uncut for the best part so you can really see how hectic these games are and my teammates were also quite handy as well. But leave a like if you enjoy the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the gameplay. Ooh, there's a couple people here. Yeah. My gun wasn't loading then at the beginning, so I couldn't aim in very well. They're back, I'm assuming. Time's up. Into the safe zone. Hostile down. I was going to get you up. will help him. Down there was two. Well, at least I down one guy. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, he can as well. Nice. Ten seconds till I respawn. There we go. Scan. Fall back. Should get a loadout about now. There it is. Oh, I'll see if I can. Do you reckon I can get that scav? Six seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do it. Oh, that was close. I don't know if you could see the timer then, where the contract is. Try and get my loadout. Get my org. Flash out. Okay, I flashed someone that was downed, but I think my flash went down there. Fire. Someone got me then. Couple Watch hits the on him. Hostiles in the area. Hang on, never mind that. Contract complete. All supply boxes located. There we go. Oh, that was a long slide. I can hear someone again, but. Oh, it feels really powerful this org. Feels like it really packs a punch with each hit it makes. Oh my god. I'm not gonna survive another one of them. Oh god. I was hoping I could armor up quicker. There's one down. He's getting me up though. Oh, we got him. Nice. Losing ground. 
hopefully I don't think the timer stopped so this guy should come back yeah redeploy him yes let's get this guy that was firing the RPGs then <laughs> there he is Marking armor. yeah as I was Start saying that the org set up like this feels so much like an AR or maybe it's just like a heavy SMG that's like a good concept isn't it the idea of a a heavy SMG oh. contact contact that's a kill yeah it's still short medium range okay but it really hits hard. So it's got a bit of recoil to it compared to a normal SMG. All right. But it hits like a automatic cannon, heavy SMG. I like that. We need in body armor. Armor, please. Oh, nice. Thank you. Oh, they've both given me some. Good teamwork with those two. They are working. It's tricky with that initial kick though, I have to sort of tap fire. Can't really be. Oh no. <coughs> oh, one down. Oh, I'm going to get into that little cubby if I can. Come on. Oh, just made it. Got about 15 seconds now before the gas gets here. Well, there's multiple teams. Finish him off. Practice my tap fire at least. Yeah, it's hard to beam. It's very hard to work out really the uh, the recoil pattern. It was only a, a small hit, so I must have only got me in the legs then. No idea where he is. Oh, we got him. <clears throat> Although, that is awesome on there. That is the thing, isn't it? It's an SMG, even though I'm using it like an AR. So... Low on small Even he thinks I'm using an AR. So, you run out of bullets really quick, unfortunately. Just nearly shot my teammate. So, you got a bit of a tap fire then. One or two hit markers, but I can't imagine it's actually doing that much damage because I know the drop off is quite high. Or very sudden, I should say, for this orc. I think there are two actual drop off points. Oh! SMG ammo, thank you very much. Enemy UAV overhead. I'll take I can it, yeah. actually reload my weapon now at least. And I've got my own armour. Oh. oh, there was two then, because I broke armour and then I saw armour again. I think the one in the garage is, is dead. And there's two there. Yeah, there's two there. I've got no more grenades. Yeah, I just need to sort of get into the circle but gatekeep them at the same time. But can't really make a run up that hill until they're taken care of, really. If we just mount up, maybe. Wait for them to make a move. I've got a couple seconds. They're still there. Nice. Right, that's put pressure on him. I should be able to move now. Oh, nice, he's finished him. There's the mate. Sorry. X ray spotted. Marking aid station. Someone's been on the fax. Oh, that's a good find. <clears throat> oh, God, there's a lot of people here. 
to be strategic about this. How are we going to get into this circle from here? It's quite open, the circle, actually, except for TV station. Oh, I broke both their armors, but I couldn't finish them. That's so they don't rush me. I have to go this way. Oh, downed one. No. Oh, okay, there's one of us left. Farrah iron sights really does need looking at. Doing well there, we've got, what was that, 15 kills between us? At least. Right, yeah, make the distraction, put him under pressure. He's actually got enough to get us both up, but is he going to get shot? Go on. He's got one. Yes, well, nice. Now, the only thing is... I'm not going to have a gun now. Oh, okay. Funnily enough, I've actually got an AUG. <laughs> I bet I'm not going to have many bullets in it, though. There's players there. I think I'm just going to hide in this hedge. See if I can get any of their guns, maybe. There we go. Let's get this stuff. There's another person. I can hear them. I need to go back. Oh god. I think the uh, gas down me then. Oh my god, he's actually going to get me. Oh, it's 3v3. This is going to be interesting. I have no idea how to use these guns really. Try my best. A bit of pressure on them. They're dealing more damage to me, but oh, they've got the circle. Right, I'm gonna go left because they're going right. Ooh. Oh, nice, they did it. Six kills there as well for me. Nice. Well, that's definitely going to be a video for the org. So, thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you in the next one.